Hello and welcome back to Group PvP Hardcore, where it's finally time that I can train my combat. I've been walking around Gilinor like a pleb, it's time to unlock some teleports. I am fire striking these ends for Wildy Slayer. The main thing I'll be doing in this episode is to increase my hit points level so I can't just get one shot if I get teleblocked, but I want to keep a low combat at the same time. So I think I'm going to stay one defense for quite a while. And hey, look at that, our first task is done. Ooh, that's quite a bad task. I don't know if I'll do the whole thing. All right, I just hit 45 mage, uh, and Broker has just got some dragon bones for me, so I'm gonna go grab those, and I think they should get me to about 40 prayer for two out of the three protection prayers. And then I don't know if I'm gonna come back to the, do Slayer or not. I think I'm gonna go train my range elsewhere. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go get some dragon bones from the dragon imp that the Broker killed. Okay, there's 40 prayer. Two out of the three overheads. Uh, I'll wait for another Dragon Bones drop, or maybe I'll just do insult heads to 43. Who knows? We'll see. All right, I did the Lost Tribe. I didn't want to be able to buy my own Bone Bolts. I don't want to rely on my team and bother them every time I want Bone Bolts. So I'm going to go buy a bunch right now. I'm probably going to buy like a couple thousand, and then I'm going to work on getting Avas so I can use them for a while. All right, there is Priest and Peril done. I only need like a couple more things for Avas. 30 ranged, Ernest the Chicken. I'm going to go get the Ecto tokens that I need, and then I'm going to go get Avas, because it should be pretty easy. All right, there is my Avas. I, I can... Oh, nice. It's Slayer level 2. And Fletching. And Woodcutting. Oh, my God. Fossil Island is unlocked. The Ammonite Crabs are one of the best early training methods in the game. On my last PvP Hardcore, I got a bunch of XP lamps from the uh, fossils that dropped from these, and it was really, really nice, so I want to do that again but I can't use the same spot I used last time. There is Elemental Workshop completed. There is a little cave with wyverns where Ammonite Crabs are, and I'm going to be using that spot. So I need this to get past the wyverns. There is the old secret training spot. It's time to get to our new spot. We just walk past these wyverns. And right through this little passageway, you can see the fossil rock. There's a bunch of Ammonite Crabs. <laughs> So we're going to kill these again for like a lot of hours and get a lot of fossils, hopefully, and a lot of XP lamps. My pure can hit Teletubby King now. He is level 53, I think. <laughs> so I'm gonna go troll him and uh, teleblock him. <laughs> what the fuck, Nick? <laughs> Jesus. Hey, you're what? fast, though. <laughs> Couldn't even oh hit you on thing. Oh my god, we're in this. <laughs> Pip, we're on the same team. <laughs> oh, 57 thieving. We can open the grubby chest. Or open the door to the grubby chest, that is. Uh, quick break from combat. Currently, I'm 61 range, 56 mage. I've just been AFKing in my spot. And it is time to go open some grubby keys. Teletubby King used a bunch of the chins that we had and has 18 of them, so. Hopefully we get some brews. We got one brew drop for Teletubby King, so these are gonna be my brews. 18 keys and we got a bunch of nice sharks and brews and death runes and other herbs. Grubby keys are great. And there it is, 45 prayer. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Very quick session. That is Mighty Mystic Might unlocked. It's time to upgrade the gear a tiny bit. Elemental Workshop 2, we can make the Mind Helmet and Mind Shield. For some nice magic defense, which is very important on a PvP hardcore. We got 40 smithing too, which is also a nice level. We can do gold ore. We are at 46 magic defense. I don't know what shirt to get on a pure, so. No TBs are splashing today. Well, that's the first teleblock thrown at me. All right, the first of the attack quests done. I need 50 attack for my Ivan staff. Tree gnome village completed. In fact, is uh, out today, I guess. <laughs> There's two teleblocks in like 30 minutes. <laughs> I can't do, uh, apparently I'm not allowed to do Grand Tree, so I'm gonna do all the other quests. So there's Fight Arena, I'm gonna go do Waterfall. Earn on the Chalice. <clears throat> Boom. Shouldn't get any combat. 40 attack, 30 strength. Damn, those are some clean numbers. I'd rather have my sharks in these diamonds. I wonder if I can go complete Grand Tree now. I'm gonna go try. Well, I guess I can't complete Grand Tree yet. Oh 
my god, he's so sneaky. I didn't expect that. <laughs> the engineer, so sneaky. Bro. <laughs> They're everywhere, man. Alright, I can't do Grand Tree, so I'm gonna do other attack quests. There's Death Plateau. Right, there is a family at Crestun. I'm gonna go up to the brother up here and get Chaos Gauntlets because I want to use those for Desert Treasure tomorrow, and it will make Camel a lot easier. It looks like the Grand Tree is still not for sale. I wonder when it will be. Alright, since Sea Engineer and Pimpact are not letting me do Grand Tree, it's time to go back to my secret spot. I'm just gonna get 50 attack. I'll be here, I'll probably get 40 strength first and 50 attack. I need 20 Limport Roots for a Temple of Ikov so I can do Desert Treasure tomorrow. So I might as well, I thought I might as well just kill these Hobgoblins while I train melee. And we just collected our 20th one, so we can do Desert Treasure tomorrow. Well, I only had lobsters because I was just killing those hobgoblins and I teleport in, no one's there. I look away for half a second and someone teleports in. I went ahead and did Majorina so I can get this cape. Magic defense is very important. This cape gives 10 magic defense. I think my RD cape is like two, so very big upgrade. I have this dragon implant here. Broker is on the way. There he is. Hopefully we get some glories or debones. We still need more debones for the team. We need more glories for the team. Oh, he's letting me open it. Okay. That's fun. My first dragon impling. Dragon dart tips. Sad. Alright, there is Troll Stronghold done. I'm gonna go do uh, the Taurus Trap. I'm gonna finish it. Alright, there is Taurus Trap done. I'm gonna get... Wow, two agility levels. That's really nice, actually. Basically two. I'm gonna go to the agility pyramid now because I want to make a little bit of money and get some higher agility. I only have one quest left, I think. For Desert Treasure, yep, just Temple of Ikov. I have the Limport Roots in my bank, so I can do Desert Treasure basically whenever I want. I just gotta do that quest in Desert Treasure in the same login, hopefully. So it won't alert the Hunters. I'm gonna go get some Agility XP so it, my Temple won't show that I just did uh, the Taurus Trap, so. Bro, what is happening to me? What the hell? How long am I gonna stay like this? What? <laughs> what is this, man? Bro, I am still, I am still on this carpet animation after like an hour. I have no more food though. There's 80k in my pocket. I'm going to get out of here. If I teleport, surely. Oh, all right. All I had to do was take my clothes off. All right, nice. <laughs> We're back to normal. That was a fun hour. All right, I have all the items I need for Desert Treasure. I'm on a fresh login. There is the last requirement, Temple of Ikov, 27 fletching. We can now start Desert Treasure. No trouble completing Desert Treasure, didn't run into anyone. Uh, I don't think anyone would really expect me to do it at such a low and early level. There is Desert Treasure completed. All right, it's a bit late in the account to be doing this, but there is Witch's House done. Oh, I have XP drops hidden. I basically wanted the HP XP because if someone temples me uh, and they see I got 20,000 magic xp without hit points xp uh, it could be a little suspect because they'd be like oh you just completed desert treasure but if i have hit points xp it looks like i killed something with like fire strike or something so it just covers my tracks a little all right i am a 48 attack if i do grand tree i should get to 50 so i'm going to peace out of here and go try to finish grand tree for like the fifth time but it, oh there's pimpact right there look at him I have a bunch of herbs now, so that's cool. Good place to train. I'm surprised Pimpac didn't find me. He was looking for me. He knows my world. Looks a little grimy. Boom. 30 guams. How many Ranars do I have? 13. Oh, that's only like 8 or 9 prayer pots. It's kind of annoying. It's not a lot. A lot of herbs though, so I want to go finish Grand Tree.
I actually could have died to that volatile spec. I had prey range on for one tick because he fakied the debo. Scary stuff. Well, that was fun, but hear me out. They, if I hop really quick and run there, they won't be there. Agreed? I'm glad we're all in agreement. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Please, man, I just want to find the Dakota Rock. Yes, 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 go, 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 go. Get me out. <laughs> oh my god. How hard is that quest? That's the hardest quest in the game. 50 agility, 50 attack. <laughs> oh my god. Finally. All right, there is recruitment drive done. I'm 20 herblore, which means I can use my lamps from fossils on it. So I want to get 30 so I can do all, like Edgar's Roost and all those herblore quests because I eventually want to be able to make my own prayer pots because I don't like having to wait for a broker to get on. Because so I want to make these into prayer pots. So I'm going to go do... I'm going to go build the museum camp and then use two of my lamps and then probably do Zogar Flesh Eaters or something. I don't know. I got 31 construction. I built the whole camp. Which means this guy will give me five small fossils. Boom. And I have five more in my bank. That means I can get two lamps. Alright, let's use both of these on Herblore. I wonder what level we're going to get. 26. Nice, I can use my Harlanders now. Alright. Let's do hit points for sure. Uh, I'm gonna do a bunch of RFD quests so I can do Evil Dave now. Uh, I need to go do fishing contents and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm basically just gonna go do a bunch of recipe for disaster stuff. I think I can get to Myth Gloves, so I'm gonna go do that. Wow, Pimpact and Sea Engineer have been hunting me all day. They really do want me dead. All right, it's time to go chin, 850 chins. I'm hoping that this is gonna get me to 70 range. It's only four levels. Oh, oops. Well, we're out of chins and look how many grubby keys we have. Zero. We have no grubby keys. I killed 300 plus, I killed 400. I reset it at 100-ish kills because it was counting the ones from a long time ago. I killed 400, I should have four grubby keys, but I have zero. So, I do have 160k, which is not that good. Thought I would get more, this place sucks. I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna burst here. This, it does not seem worth it to me. I should have four grubby keys, but I have none, bro. What is that? All right, one good thing that came of this, I got this 10k XP lamp from all those like temple pages that you get which I'm going to use on HP because I don't want to get one shot by the Volatile Staff that can hit like 60s, close to 70 probably. Alright, quick RFD break. I wanted to just do this quest so I can start death rooting my cat again. I'll come back to this before I burst probably. I'll get Myth Gloves. But it's time to start growing cats for death rune so I can burst. Alright, one, two, and I think we have Myth or Black Gloves? I don't know which. Dirty Slayer, that's cool I guess. And watch this. Someone's gonna try to volley me or debo me down the stairs. Just gonna start clicking my teleport. Oh, you only get black gloves. Whatever. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna just stand black gloves for now. Myth gloves are only like a little tiny upgrade, I think. All right. I just decided to get full ghostly anyway for the 10k XP lamp. 10,000 hit points experience is really nice. Or 60 hit points, so it's getting harder and harder to one shot us. All right. Ancient staff for 80k. We have 100k left. Our mage defense is up to 67. Once we get our black DI'd chaps, it'll probably be like almost in the seven, like mid 70s. It's not bad, honestly, for a pure. Let's go get some mage levels. All right, I do like literally two kills back and I get a grubby key, finally. All right, we are just about out of prayer points. I didn't get to use all my runes. Well, that's okay though. I'll save them for something else. I got four grubby keys to open. Let's see if we can get some brews. Is that, <laughs> is that rare? More anars. Nice. Okay. What is this egg sack? 
I don't know what this is. Is this new? I've opened a lot of grubby keys. I just hit 70 range, we're at 62 HP. Uh, I'm gonna go equip all of my magic defense gear and see what we're at. Lots of fossils too. Black DI traps out of the storage, boom. Our best in slot, mage defense 67, up to 76. That's not bad. That's not bad, you know. Black D head body will be like another plus 50, so, or 40 probably. We'll be in the hundreds soon, probably next episode.